Hi Sagittarius, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot and I'm here to do your mid-January um, 2020 reading with the Tarot. Um, I'll be doing the Cartomancy readings next week for any of those of you that are waiting for those to come out. Um, uh, Happy New Year, of course. I want to thank you so much, Sagittarius. The, <laughs> the last string of videos for January uh, was 8,600 uh, views. And I just want to thank you so much for that. Uh, you blew everyone out of the water. <laughs> just out of the water. So um, thank you so much. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it helps me a lot. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm using the Witch's Tarot and I'm also using the Oracle of Visions. They look like this. See, they got the Joker on them. So. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to get you one of these, all right? Let's get you uh, an Oracle of Visions. We're going to put your vibes in there, Sagittarius. So this is like from the 6th to the 18th, kind of, or it may go through to the end of the month as well, but Sagittarius, okay. Let's get that in there. We'll get you, get you something here for your your underlying foundation, you know. A nice oracle card. Tell me what, there it is. What you got for Sagittarius? So we're going to put that in the middle. Alright. Oops. I guess I'll move the middle down here. Then we're going to take these witches tarot, give them a couple shuffles for my Sagittarius. Add that in the world. Um... We got a lot of um, planet action happening in January, so some of it's good, some of it we need to take a pause, you know, and just let it pass and not react. We're very reactive. I'm Sagittarius, too. Oh, there we go. Woo! Wow! Okay, I'm going to show you that in a sec, but that tells me it's time to cut. Okay, um, I'm located in southeastern Ontario, Canada, just if any of you were wondering where I am. And uh, so that's where I is in southern, southern Ontario, Canada. All right, so let's get these right. Let's get them right. So I'm doing the same layout I do for the playing cards, except I'm using the tarot. And I thought it might be really great because it gives a three card combination for each pile. And it gives you a little more, you know, in depth to the situation of what's going on. All right. So, so first of all, your Oracle of Visions card. Wow. Wow. Look at her. Look at her. Eh? Now that's focused. That is focused on your future. You know, she's she's absolutely ready. She's determined. She's got that stance, you know. She's grounded. She's sure-footed. And she believes. She believes. So, I want to tell you what the book says here quickly. 52. Uh, 52. There it is. Direction, purpose, objectives, and taking the first step. If one advances confidently in the direction of his or her dreams and endeavors to live life which they have imagined, they will meet with success and unexpected Success unexpected in common hours. Purpose and direction, goals and plans for the future. Without these, our life would be stagnant and have little meaning. 
having something to aim for, to achieve, to look forward to, no matter how small the difference between a day-to-day -day existence and living a fuller life. Reading, learning, seeing, experiencing something new and setting goals is a journey to tomorrow. Even the longest journey starts with one first step. Can, okay, so that's good enough for me. So, you know, isn't that cool? Because here we are, the beginning of the year, uh, beginning of the Chinese year at the end of the month. And, um, and I, I, you know, it's true. It, it, I get the feeling that there's probably a lot of people, a lot of you out there that are feeling stagnant. Like Sagittarius needs to create. They need to have um, something to contribute to, you know, to be doing something. Or they get very stagnant, depressed, um, bored, just plain bored. Need something to do, something to keep stimulated, you know, stimulated. So it's very interesting because this is like a beginning card starting something new, ready to be focused, achieve, have goals, make a plan. And, and, and you had the death card jump out too. So see what you are leaving something behind. You are closing a door. And, and, and um, ju just not, there's something you're not contributing into anymore and something new you are contributing to, you know. You thought, I'm, I'm tired of being um, here, stagnant, bored, not stimulated. I'm ready. I'm ready for this now, okay? Whoops. <laughs> My darn elbow gets stuck on all of these cards. Okay, so what do we have for you in the present moment? Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, and Three of Swords. So, um, this could be a water sign around you, uh, male or female. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Anyway, it looks like if this is a water sign around you, they are moving away from heartbreak. Uh, they're leaving something behind. They could even be leaving a water sign behind, or you are, Sagittarius. You're leaving a water sign behind. Because like I said, you're, you're done putting um, energy into this stagnant situation. It's dead. It's dead, you know. And, and you're looking to make a new plan, focus. So this is leaving, leaving someone behind that's caused you a lot of heartbreak. And you... You just want to be happy and calm and peaceful. You know, you just want to go easy. It shouldn't be this hard. So, coming in, you have the Seven of Wands, the Sun, and the Five of Wands. Okay, look at this. So interesting. Seven of Wands. So, this is feeling defensive, the fight or flight card. And, you know, you're completely equipped to defend yourself. And then the sun and the five of wands, and this is competition, you know, st still arguing, defending. And remember I said that some of this planetary energy this month will, it will tempt you or bait you to react. And, and I think that, um, th that you're going to be successful in any debates you do have because you're just absolutely emanating. I don't think you're going to get baited the way you used to. You used to react, you know. You're seeing something new here. Also, um, this tells me, for some of you, that you could be having issues around a child, a young person. Um... Uh, they, they could be feeling very defensive, feel like everyone's against them, um, having to debate everything with them, you know. Um, they also feel ganged up on. Um, uh, 
I get the feeling that this person feels it's very hard to defeat the enemy. Okay? But, you know, all you can see is their potential, their growth, their, what, you know, um, what they're emanating. But this is surrounding them and um, a lot of conflict, arguing. They're feeling very defensive, alone in the world. Um, this could be around a young person, I think. Okay, that's what I'm thinking on that. So... Um, for some of you, it could be what you're trying to do. Like this is both wands, seven and five of wands are both challenges, right? What you're up against. But the thing is, is the sun is the wish card in the major arcana. It, you shine so brightly, you know, uh, 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 above all this stuff, above all this, um, what you're trying to make happen. You know, I, I see you just shutting the competition down, you know, but it's all positive. It's radiating. It's um, expansion, you know. People are trying to keep you from expanding or, or there could be a lot of competition in what you're trying to do as well, what you're trying to achieve, what what your work is, you know, uh, how you're trying to make a name for yourself. There could be a lot of competition. But I'm going to tell you, you got to be yourself. You know, don't go with gimmicks and don't go with images. Be yourself because people are looking for quality and, and genuineness now. You know, because there's so much corruption and all kinds of things out there. And that's what people are looking for. So be yourself, whatever it is, okay? So now, above you, crowning you, you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. There's that water energy again. So... Um, I get the feeling that you may come into uh, uh, some money. And it's enough money that you're able to do something with it, you know, because you're thinking here, you're thinking, okay, what am I going to do? I got seven coins. And I can do something. I can, you know, replant these and I can make something grow here. Um... I also get the feeling this water sign back here um, could be wanting to try and grow this again. You got, you guys have probably been through all this, and um, as far as relationship growth, you know, you've grown, you've learned a lot about each other. But <laughs> I, you know, with the Ten of Wands, it's it's laying down your burdens, not wanting to carry all this responsibility. And it's carrying it all. And you feel like you're, you are carrying all the responsibility for the growth, for the reinvestment, for the, for the plan, you know. He, he or she, I think, wants to invest and wants to offer something. And maybe you want to offer something where you can lay down your burdens. You know, they may want to help you with your burdens. And your burdens could be financial at this point, you know. Um, this knight could be younger. Uh, like I'm saying, sometimes it means they're younger than you, um, whether it's male or female. But they, they definitely want to offer something. They... Uh, I think they want to talk about their feelings, how it, it can grow. They want to help you lay down your burdens, you know. Um, I 
I don't know. Let's see here. Let's see what's going on. So this is your achievements, what you're trying to get accomplished in your life, okay? And you have the Four of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Look at that. The page in between two fours. And the thing is, is that you're unsatisfied. You know, you're... You may be getting an offer, but it it doesn't feel like enough to you. It's it's look at how unsatisfied that boy is there, you know. Um and and this person could be really good looking and stuff, but they're not offering that depth, that intimacy, and I don't mean sex, I mean deeper than that. That intimate relationship heart you know and and I think there's discussion going on about this because you're not willing to invest you're sitting on your cones not willing to budge trying to trying to stay stable I think you're trying to build some security in your life and you can't do this with empty promises you can't do it and and I think you're gonna say it I can't do nothing with empty promises how am I going to rely on you? And and this is the thing. You want someone that you can rely on that's solid, you know, that's there. And and this is the thing. You you are there's going to be discussions here about one how how one person sees, you know, this these foundations, you know, cuz fours are like new foundations, new beginnings, stability, um, you think of four legs on a table, right? And 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 I think that you're gonna honestly speak about how I don't think you how you're not feeling stable. It's not enough. What it's going? I think you're saying what it's going to require. How am I going to count on you? How? You know, when when you're bringing me empty cups, the water's right there. <laughs> and you're asking me to go get you a drink. No, no, you know. Um, I, and so you're, you could be demanding something more solid. You're offering me this. And I want this, and I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Um, and, and, and I don't think you're worried about the consequences. It doesn't matter. You know, I've done all those cartwells. I've done all those magic tricks, and it never got me anywhere anyway. So I might as well say what's on my mind. And if you... <laughs> be careful about asking a Sagittarius how they feel, because they will tell you. Yeah. Okay, well, if you're opening that door, let's open it. Hmm. So this is your um, outside influences, this pile. You got the Queen of Swords, the World, and the Hanged Man. So, you know, <clears throat> I think that you're coming to a new perspective here, or someone is around you this someone could be an air energy doesn't have to be male or female um who could be aquarius gemini or libra doesn't have to be um but this person is um you know they're straight to the point they they you, you know i get the 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 feeling they offer sage advice okay sage advice and it means you know it's honest it's direct and oh hold on a cotton pick a minute here i just noticed something that i never noticed before for one thing there's a blue jay i don't know what that little thing is there that other little thing but a blue jay. Um, 
Um, you know, and this person is pure in thought, or that's how they're coming across now, okay? Pure in thought, really want to communicate what they're thinking, um, you know, and this is really what they're thinking, like um, how sensible or strategic it might be, does it make sense? But the thing is, is that you're getting a new perspective, or they are. They're coming to the world. They're realizing they need to start a new chapter. And I think they're wanting to. They may even communicate with you about it. And they're having a new perspective. They're realizing that they need to close a chapter and start a new one. And this is clear communication about, you know, walking through that threshold, right? That threshold, leaving that behind and and getting a new perspective. Now, this could be you, but this is exterior influences. I think you're going to get a message from someone, definitely. They want to talk, and they want to talk real, you know, not just superficial kind of things. They want to have a, a, a talk, a sit down. And let's get through this. Because something's bothering them. I get the feeling that there's a lot of things on their mind they get, didn't get to express. Or um, also, too, it could be um, closure. Someone needs closure. Um, they may need... The, 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 they may need to apologize about past, you know, in order to close that door on it and feel good you know are we good so here we have the foundation ten of pentacles the high priest and the tower hmm it's funny the towers and the foundation because it's uh, it's uh, pretty rocky, you know. There's something that's happened that's shaken things up, and it's about um, security and stability. Your security and stability, okay? Um. You know, when I think about these two cards, I think about commitment, right? Uh, making a commitment, wanting to settle down with family, to feel good, to, you know, it's generational and, and stuff like that. Thinking about what you're able to pass on after your time. And, and, and also the Hierophant is about responsibility too, you know, he carries a great responsibility in when he teaches and and um when he guides people or you know makes sure people are ready for a commitment and both of these cards say commitment to me but and then i think that the tower shook this up like I think that someone felt like you weren't committed to them. You don't you don't want to put in the effort. You you could be you know th this I think this has really taught you something going about your security, about your stability, about how you want to do it too. Also, this is completing some sort of cycle. You're you're You've reached um, perhaps a financial goal in some way. If you haven't yet, it's coming any day, okay? Where I, I see you getting money of somehow, getting money and it's going to help you be more secure. But there's also something about institution, you know? It could be the bank, it could be... Um, government uh, you know you could be getting money from the government um and it shakes things up like the tower isn't always bad i think in this layout it's really good this is a shock 
that I think that you're getting this money. You're like, I do? <laughs> really? And, you know, I think it's because you've come clean. You know, you've, you made a commitment and you stuck to it. And, and, and I think you're going to get a shock and surprise if it hasn't happened already. Okay? If it hasn't happened already. Now, that's just the foundation. Here's the surprise. You get a surprise in this foundation and see if you get a surprise in the surprise. Ooh, wait. <laughs> I like it. Two pentacles, ace of pentacles, and the moon. So what's really wonderful about this, because look at this, two of pentacles, you're juggling, you're trying to, and it's an imbalance. You don't really have enough coming in to pay out everything that you owe. There's an imbalance. You can see the water is very turbulent in the back. Your, your finances could be kind of turbulent, but then an opportunity comes. This is a whole new door opening and it's great because in the foundation here's the 10, right? And also up here in the 7 on your mind you're thinking about what can I do? What can I do with this? You know, I've got something. I have to be smart. I have to think about my stability. I have to think about my security. I have to be, think about how I can grow this because you want to make this grow. You're not done. Okay? And you're smart about it. You're smart about it. Um, I also think you're not into... Um, um, I don't think you're into relationships that don't involve commitment. I don't think you're interested in casual stuff anymore it's just not fulfilling you another thing that is not fulfilling you and when we're not fulfilled we need change we need something to change something new and here it is baby <laughs> here it is so this is going to help you get balanced and centered again okay look at how gigantic is practically the size of the kid you know, so this is really, really good opportunity. But, you know, the, here's the moon. All right. And you know, I see the wolves circling in this card. The wolves are circling. You trying to see in all the fog, she's got the light going and she's trying to see her path in all this fog. And because I, I think things can, will start moving very quickly when this happens. And um, you not, may not be completely clear on all the details of what this is this opportunity for you um, but like I said you know in January you may need to just pause for a sec just let things play out a little bit you don't have to feel pressured about making a right now decision right now well you gotta tell me right now you know if it feels like that say no Say so, you no. Know, if if it feels too pushy and just uh, if it feels like this, uh, uh, uh. Okay, no, no, I don't like that feeling. This doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel right. Um, so, <laughs> you know, the the choices that you're making, like you are so ready to just bloom, and there there could be competition and and other people um maybe they do it totally different than you that's okay that you will shine then because you do it your way have confidence in how you do what you do and and how you deliver it and who you are 
because I think that's going to be important. That's how you outshine all the competition. Lucky you can't even see the kid. It's so bright. It's so bright. It's just emanating and these are going to fall away. <laughs> so, uh, this is awesome. This is awesome. But, uh, you know, you don't need to react. That's, I don't know why that's strong for me. You're very goal oriented. You, you're going to start making plans, doing work, um, laying out your map, you know, laying out your map because you are done with the stagnancy. You know, this is, there's, you are bored. You really are looking for that, see that kid reaching the bouquet up, something new, something fresh, you know. Um, out of the ashes come new growth. I used to put ashes from the fire in my garden and stir it up and mix it with all the dirt. My, I had the most beautiful garden ever. <laughs> but it's a good thing, you know. It's a good thing what's going on for you here. Um, but I think with this moon is that, um, I think you, I don't think you should make a move until you can see clearly what, what this offer actually is. Okay. You just need to wait a little bit till the fog clears and then you can see, but I think it's a golden opportunity for you. You can't see the whole thing yet, but it's a golden opportunity. Okay. So, Sagittarius, I really hope you like this reading. Um, if you would like a personal reading, all the details are in the box below. Um, if you'd like to comment, I'd love to hear. And uh, other than that, um, I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.